DMT is an incredibly powerful hallucinogenic psychedelic substance which can basically alter your perspective and views on reality and existence forever. So in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know including the dangers, the myths, the ideas, the effects and the side effects and everything you need to know about the experience of DMT which stands for dimethyltryptamine. So the actual effects that most people report when they first take DMT is that your experience and perspective of reality itself just sort of dissolves and is completely torn apart in front of your eyes and you're transported into this new place, this new reality where you know almost nothing. You have no idea how things work. You're just basically like a baby who has just been born in this brand new world and yet you're aware of everything. You're taking everything in. And when you're brought back to physical reality after about 10 or 30 minutes, you will have no ability to describe what you've experienced apart from the first five minutes of it. So I'm gonna get into that in a second, but firstly, let me just tell you a bit more about the substance itself. So DMT is a sort of white kind of power Older, crystalline like substance which can be smoked or it can be drank if you take it in the form of ayahuasca. Ayahuasca ceremonies are quite popular in South America and other areas of the world but you should know that both forms of this are currently illegal in the United States and in quite a few other places as well. Now I don't know why maybe it's because they open your mind to the truth but whatever the case may be okay they're not legal so I'm just going to explain about how they work. I'm not going to tell you how to get them because there is no easy way to do that. So in terms of the experiences of DM we don't have much research other than some very minimal research to show that it can be used to treat depression. We actually don't have much research into the effects of DMT because it just hasn't been studied that much. Just like most illegal substances we don't have enough research to really say how good or bad it can be so really we just have to go by people's subjective experiences and stories and in my opinion this is always the more reliable way to go for some things anyway because people's experiences are not filtered by economic or monetary motivations, pharmaceutical companies, laws, governments, and all of these entities which could have an ulterior motive. If you have somebody telling you a story of what they experienced, most people, the average person, has far less reasons to lie than a pharmaceutical company or a government. So you really have to just take into account not just people's stories, but when it's like a huge group of people and they're all saying kind of the same thing, that's kind of worth at least listening to, in my opinion. So as you've probably guessed, okay, taking DMT has some risks. There are dangers associated with this, especially if you have any kind of mental or emotional problem or disorder, this is gonna change your view of reality. So you have to consider, can you handle that? Now, of course, you're gonna say, well, I probably can't be that bad, right? I have to tell you it is pretty pretty intense. The first 20 minutes of this experience, or really the first five minutes of this experience, are going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced in your entire life. And it really is beyond words. There's no real way of explaining how it works or how it feels without you actually seeing for yourself. So DMT or dimethyltryptamine is usually taken with somebody with you. You're not normally on your own when you take DMT. It's advised that you take it with somebody or you know a close one or two friends that you really do trust in a safe and relaxing area. You do not want to take DMT at a party, a rave, in a city, in a park. Okay, you really want to be isolated from everybody if you possibly can. And you also wanna be away from anywhere that you could damage yourself, that you could hurt yourself or others. You do not wanna be in a forest, for example, where there's sharp branches around. You don't want to be on the beach, you know, water, danger of drowning. You wanna be somewhere soft and safe, okay? Now, it is usually taken in the form of vapor, smoke vapor. So what you would do in a typical DMT ceremony or situation, you would smoke the DMT in the form of three really strong or powerful inhales. Now, most people, if you've ever done something like salvia, for example, it's kind of similar to that. Okay, you take your first inhale, which is a deep, long inhale, you hold your inhale, so the DMT has a chance to enter your blood, you know, and cross the blood brain barrier. You then exhale. You take a few seconds to catch your breath and you know adjust to that. And then you take in the second one, the really deep, long inhale, okay? Now at this point, you will notice some incredible effects. Your reality will basically start being torn apart and melt in front of your eyes. You won't really know what's going on. However, the second inhale is not where the magic happens. The second inhale can be likened to the beginning of an LSD trip or a mild salvia divornim trip. 
okay? The third inhale. If you've done the first two inhales, you won't want to take the third inhale because you're gonna feel like so overwhelmed by what's already happened that you think, oh, this is fine, I'll just stay here. This is, uh, I've had enough, okay? However, the third inhale is what actually gives you what we call the DMT breakthrough. The experience where you're actually ripped from this reality and taken to what we could describe as a different reality, a different dimension, or whatever your current beliefs are, you will be transported somewhere that you have no idea how to explain you don't know how it works. It's so unbelievably different from everything you currently know. And that only really happens when you take three inhales. So the third inhale, you hold it in deeply and then you calmly exhale. At this point, you can sit back, relax in your chair, lay down, okay? Whatever is more comfortable for you at this point. What happens next is really something that I can't explain with words, with language, okay? You will be essentially taken from this reality. Your consciousness will then be transported into a different dimension. There's really no way of explaining it. Everything you think you know about reality, physical objects, colors, light, sound, all of your senses combined, all of that is just basically taken and thrown to one side and you're opened up as if you had never seen before in your life. Your eyes are opened and you're in this brand new environment where you feel like it's almost more realistic and more real than anything else you've previously known. The onset of these experiences will happen in the first five minutes or so. Now, after the first five minutes, if you have taken three inhales, you will very quickly start to be taken deeper. You will be taken to a different level. Now, this can be incredibly, incredibly overwhelming and powerful, profound, okay? Not for beginners, not for people who are, you know, just wanna dip your toes in. Oh, I might wanna try a hallucinogenic. Not for you, okay? This is something that you should do when you are really sure about what you want to do and you're really comfortable with this stuff, okay? And ideally, you should do it with a friend because it's incredibly powerful. Now I have to say, if this is your first time taking DMT, the point where you have taken your third inhale, your life has been changed. At that point, your life and reality will not be quite the same. Now they won't change everything, it won't change your entire life, but your perspective and memories and the way you see the world, the way you look at things, what you consider to be real, okay? All of that goes out the window the moment you take your third inhale, your life and brain will be changed permanently. Not in a bad way, in a way that sort of lets you appreciate and see and understand more. This really can't be explained to properly in language, so I'm not really doing it justice, but you need to be aware of that before you take DMT. So you're probably wondering, okay, I've taken my three inhales, I've had my breakthrough, I'm now at the five or six minute mark of uh, the DMT experience, what happens next? Well, what really happens depends on you as a person, but I'm gonna tell you the common things that most people, the majority of people who take DMT experience. And it's kind of interesting that this is a really common thing, okay? So number one, you will experience some kind of what you perceive to be a higher being, a more intelligent, more loving, more powerful being, or a series of entities around you which will kind of give you some kind of message, wisdom, feeling. They will impart some kind of knowledge or some kind of gift to you, okay? And this might be that they advise you something, they give you some kind of life advice, they might tell you, you know, some kind of profound thing about humanity and how reality works or something like that. Now, I'm gonna tell you straight away, most of what they tell you, you will forget, but in the moment, it will feel like the most profound thing you've ever heard, which which it probably is, okay? However, this is why it's so important. As soon as you've ended your DMT trip and you're sort of coming back to reality, you write down everything you remember, okay? Really important thing to do that. Now, you might experience any number of things here, okay? You could experience different dimensions, flying, some kind of weird interdimensional sexual experience, okay? It really could be anything, but what seems to be common is a profound feeling of having your eyes opened, knowing that you're now, currently, in the trip of the DMT trip, you are experiencing true reality. There's a profound feeling that you before, you know, before you tried this, 10 minutes ago, you were kind of blind. And now you see everything. Now you can understand more, at least a little bit more, about the reality that we live in, how profound and infinite and powerful we all are, and how there is a huge connection to something much bigger than each of our lives and ourselves. Now the experience from this point on, for the next kind of five minutes or so, I can't describe it to you because you can't use words or language to describe what you will experience here. So I'm gonna kind of leave that as a surprise for you to just figure out. However, what I would say is when you have finished your DMT trip, when you come back to earth or back to reality, the first thing you should do, catch your breath, make sure you're okay, check you know, you're in a safe place, write down every single detail you remember. You'll probably be crazy excited and uh, kind of panicked and overwhelmed, and you'll want to share what you've experienced with people around you if you're with anybody, okay? 
If that's the case, please remember, just record yourself, record your voice, okay? You wanna to listen to this again later. You wanna capture that emotion and that real kind of memory uh, as detailed as you can. So don't worry about writing things down if you're too excited or if you're with somebody. Try and capture yourself talking about the experience and then keep that recording as a sort of memory, a treasured memory of the moment your reality was changed forever.